Crime Stories was never my favorite and I haven't read one in 15 years. And just recently after reading their little secret novel written by Mark Billingham, I understood that it is still not my favorite genre. The reason why I've read this book is very simple. I saw an ad that Mark Billingham is coming to my local library for a talk and I've read the book just to join the event. And this is something else I've been fascinated by for a few years because I made um, a TV documentary, I, I must say, not the best TV series ever made, uh, a few years ago called Couples Who Kill. Guess what that was about? Their Little Secret is a 16th book in a Tom Thorne series. And uh, Tom Thorne is a inspector detective in London and in this particular book he's trying to solve the chain of crimes made by a couple locked in a folly ado bond. A folly ado, the idea of two people that come together and create something kind of monstrous, almost a third entity. As I said, I've read only one book of his, uh, Their Little Secret, and I'm talking mainly about it. Uh, let's start from the beginning. In this book, author is trying to explain motive and psychology of both criminals and police. Not to justify or support, but explain decisions of both parts and psychological basis for those decisions. Well, at least I thought so when I've been reading the book, but actually on the event he explained one thing, that usually, you know, in the stories criminals and policemen shown in very stereotyped way. So he said that usually in real life criminals are not the same like in those books because in the books trying to show criminal as some kind of mastermind you know and which is catching him will make a uh, bigger impression on the reader but the point is that they are not usually so smart or policemen they are usually not so sound as he is showing them in the book but sometimes you're reading a book and it's so catchy you cannot stop reading it but when you're finishing it you're putting it down and there is not too much to remember about it actually and you're forgetting it next day and going to another one. It was kind of that book to me. But the worst thing probably of the book, I, th I think it's probably very specific to this genre, that I didn't enjoy the some kind of superpower-like ability of the characters to read each other's mind. You know, it's probably to make that impression of cleverness of the book in general. So I didn't enjoy this cleverness at one point when the next moment, when it's not suiting the plot, they are becoming absolutely stupid, cannot see even the the most obvious thing uh, which is in front of his eyes. And actually the best thing which I enjoyed the most, it was author himself, Mark Billingham. Oh, actually, where's my book? I'm always forgetting to show the book. I'm always talking about the books, but never showing the actual books. Mark Billingham was signing the books. Yeah, I can show you. I have a signature. Can you see? Yeah, so... Probably I should talk a little bit about him. So if you didn't know, Mark Billingham was born and raised in Birmingham. For some time he was actor. Now he mostly works as a TV writer and stand-up comedian. He also said that they are playing in the band with other authors. In the event, one sentence which stole my heart uh, when Mark Billingham said that uh, his daughter been trying to read his books and <laughs> she said, Okay, yeah, father, I tried to read your book. I read half of it, but to be honest, I like uh, more challenging stuff. And I could not agree more with her. And a few more thoughts from that event, which I would like to not only share with you, but actually ask you a question. So one thing that grabbed my attention was he does not believe that story while writing can create itself. It can grab you and uh, make different turns which you didn't even anticipate it. So uh, what, do you, what, what are your thoughts on that? Is that possible or not? How do you think? So what can I say? If you are into the criminal novels and detective-ish stuff, you should read the book because it was very fun to read. It's catchy. It was fun to read. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan. I will not probably read one for the next 15 years most likely. It was nice to meet such an interesting person on such an event. Thank you for watching! I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe, 
subscribe, push the subscribe button if you would like to see more of these videos. And uh, what can I say? Have a nice evening, have a nice day, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, enjoy your life and don't forget to read. And please, please read a good and interesting books. Bye. A 16th book in a... Two. Yeah, and... Uh... So... So what can I say?